the top five NBA All-Star Game performances by a New York Knick. Coming in at number five, Patrick Ewing in the 1994 All-Star Game in Minnesota. In what was one of his best statistical years as a Knick, the captain dropped 20 points and 11 rebounds in the game, leading the East to a 127 to 118 victory over the West. When you came into the league, Mark Price with his version, and it's a thunderous effort by Patrick Ewing over David Robinson. And that got Ewing happy because he got another one, and then. Coming in at number four, the original captain, Willis Reed. In the 1970 All-Star Game in Philadelphia, Reed dominated in the first quarter, giving the East a command of the game. Second by Oscar Robertson. John Havlicek, a lead pass to Reed. And the East leads four to two. West quickly to Baylor. And Willis Reed. Frazier saves it under to his teammate Reed. Hayes defensively. Havlicek, Willis Reed guarded by Baylor. Oh, defensively, Willis Reed. Frazier and Robertson and Reed. Gives you an idea of Reed's speed. He defended uh, on the opposite board and came right down on the Willis play. would go on to drop 20 points and 11 rebounds, giving the East a 142 to 135 victory over and the West and earning Captain the game's the MVP honors. Boy, is he happy. We're just hoping we can win the Eastern Division and go on to playoffs and maybe this year uh, the championship will come to New York for once. <laughs> Coming in at number three, Amari Stoudemire. In his first season with the Knicks, Stat took New York by storm. Coming into the All-Star game, Stat set a franchise record eight consecutive games with 30 plus points. Stat was named a starter for the East that year, becoming the first Knick to do so since Patrick Ewing in 1992. Now the East would go on to lose to the West that year by the score of 148 to 143, but Stat would chip in with a team high 29 points to go along with six rebounds. What's happening tonight? Oh, the game? It's only one prediction. East going, East going win. At number two. Carmelo Anthony predicted victory for the East in the 2014 All-Star Game in New Orleans, and he would put on a show to prove it. Do that plenty of times, yeah. little Stevie, on the, <laughs> the mean streets of Palisades. All the time. Anthony, get that look. Rivers told him he needed to work on during the summer. Carmelo Anthony with his fifth. Three-pointer. Kept alive. Here's Anthony for three. And that is an NBA All-Star record. Seven by Irving. Anthony for three. Yes! His eighth three-pointer of the night. Eight of 12 from downtown for Carmelo Anthony. Melo would go on to set an all-star game record of eight three-pointers in the game, finishing with 30 points and five rebounds, leading the East to a comeback victory, 163 to 155. Although Melo had a standout game, Kyrie Irving went home with the MVP, dropping 31 points and 14 dimes for the East. And at number one. Really? <laughs> well, I didn't quite like it. <laughs> Walt Frazier, Goodrich comes out. Frazier's got it. By 1975, Walt Clyde Frazier had already established himself as one of the top guards in the NBA, as well as one of the best all time. Uh, waiting for someone. Beautiful pass to Havlicek. Oh, what a play that was. Right now, they're just taking underneath and shooting over the top of them. Frazier maneuvering for a shot. He's got it. Give him 18. 
With many All-NBA and All-Defensive Team accolades already to his name, Frazier would add one more accomplishment, MVP of the game. Clyde dropped 30 points on 10 of 17 shooting, added five rebounds and four steals, leading the East to a 108-102 victory over the West in Phoenix. All-Stars have beaten the West All-Stars 108 to 102 and they have won the 25th annual NBA All-Star game here in Phoenix.